Hola, clase, and welcome to Mexico. Today we're cooking fajitas for dinner. First things first is I gotta put my hair up. Next up, I have to wash my hands. Turn on the water. Make sure it's warm water. Warm water kills bacteria. Now, since the only soap I have currently is Dawn dish soap, I'm just gonna wash them. before our guests arrive is get out some apps. So the first thing I'm getting out is some mild salsa. Mild salsa is my favorite salsa. There we go. I'm just gonna put it in a bowl. I also have some tortilla chips. Next up is something I'm gonna make and that is guacamole. So we're gonna start off with some fresh avocados. So I have my cutting board, my knife, and my avocados. Just cut my avocados down the middle, going around the pit. And then twist, and boom. To get the pit out. Yes, good one. And I'm gonna grab a spoon and just carve out the inside. start with some raw chicken. I'm making the full recipe from class. So the chicken I'm using is already thin sliced, which is great. First thing I'm gonna do is just cut off the fat with this paring knife. Cut it into little thin strips. So we're gonna take this bowl. We're gonna make the marinade first, actually. So. For the recipe for the marinade, um, I'm going to be mixing one fourth cup of soy sauce with one fourth cup of lime juice, um, one tablespoon, uh, one teaspoon, I'm sorry, of garlic, uh, one and a half teaspoons of chili powder, half a teaspoon of cumin, which is optional, which I'm not going to do, and two tablespoons of olive oil or canola oil. So I have my measuring supplies, and first I'm going to do one fourth cup of soy sauce. Um, so I'm using um, uh, gluten-free soy sauce. Um, it's no, it's soy-free soy sauce actually, um, which may hinder the taste of the recipe a little. Next thing we're gonna do is one fourth cup of lime juice. Um, and so instead of getting just like lime juice, I got two limes, um, just because I like fresh lime juice more than like the bottled stuff. one teaspoon of garlic. So I actually just got a clove of garlic. Um, and I'm just gonna do one garlic clove. I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. And I'm just gonna scoop it out. So have you And there's one. And here is the yeah. app. 
and I'm just gonna stir it up. Next, I'm going to add in two um, tablespoons, two tablespoons of olive oil or canola oil. I'm actually gonna use canola oil. Take my fork again and just really get it moving. Really get me. All right, so now that I have a plastic bag, I'm going to just add the marinade in to the bag. And then I'm going to add the chicken that has been cut up into the bag as well. So now that our chicken is all in the bag, I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for a little while. I don't exactly have a couple hours until I serve it, but I'm gonna let it marinate for as long as we can. So I just took some time to clean off my um, cutting board with bleach and I cleaned up my workstation a little bit. So that way we can start cutting the um, peppers and onions that we are going to use in our fajitas. So I'm first just gonna start off with a red bell pepper, cut it down the middle. cutting up three bell peppers. I have green, red, and yellow. I put them all in a bag to just kind of keep them clean and out of this very messy space. Um, and I think the next step of the whole process is going to be cutting the onions. Um, and then we are gonna start making some money moves. <laughs> hey, hey, one of the kids. I'm really So first thing I'm gonna do is just um, peel my onion over a trash can just cause it does get really messy. So I just um, cleaned up like the mess from all the peppers and everything, and I am gonna start cutting my onion. Um, I cut off, I peeled it, and then I cut off each of the ends, and then I'm just gonna go kind of down the middle. <laughs> Onions make you cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really emotional right now, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, I already started cutting it out. Something that one of my friends told me was that the middle of the onion um, is actually the bulb, and the bulb is the part that makes you cry, so I took it out. Um, okay. <laughs> I could have bought it pre-cut, and I wouldn't have gone through this trauma, uh, but uh, the pre-cut ones just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the pre-cut, I could have, no not that close, we could have, I could have gotten a um, pre-cut and I wouldn't have gone through this, um, but uh, the pre-cut ones just didn't look very good, so we're not gonna, I'm just gonna kind of peel these onions apart, so they are like little onion like slivers, and I'm gonna put them in the bag with the pepper. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the stove. Um, this stove got installed last night, uh, so I hope it, we did a little test run. Um, we're gonna put it on medium heat, and I'm gonna put a little bit of this canola oil in there. Since I am cooking for people who are vegetarian and who um, are eating chicken, I'm gonna cook them, uh, I'm gonna cook the peppers and the chicken separately. Um. So while this is cooking, I'm just gonna let it simmer on a medium heat um, with the thing over it so that it can cook up really well. Um, and then in the back burner, I am going to start on cooking the vegetables because I really want those to be nice um, and cooked very well. And I'm just gonna add my vegetables. Um, now obviously, as I said before, I did use a lot of vegetables because I'm cooking for vegetarians. You have two different tongs, uh, one for the chicken and one for the vegetables, just so there's no like cross-contamination. So I got two cans of just black beans um, so that I can um, make black beans. I am using flour tortillas, um, just because I really like flour tortillas better than corn tortillas.
this regular. Hot? Go ahead. It's so hot right now. <laughs> How's the chicken? And my meal is officially complete. Um, I'm getting ready to serve it up to my guests, but this is what it currently looks like. We've got some just like plain um, flour tortillas. We have some cooked um, flour tortillas. We have sour cream, the chicken, vegetables, beans, shredded lettuce, um, some Mexican cheese, the fresh made guacamole, salsa and chips. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna make one first for myself and then I'll let my guests eat. to go see a movie. The dishes are all done. My house and where I cleaned is completely, or where I cooked is completely clean. Um, my stove is all clean, besides that. <laughs> my stove is all clean. My area is all clean. And that's my final. Adios. <laughs>